summons the cubs like a dinner bell. The females are hunting. At 10 months, Tao and Vanda are old enough to join the mothers with instructions to watch and learn. But the brothers aren't the only ones who respond to the cries. Buffaloes have a kinship as tight as the lion's bond. They protect their own. This meal fights back. A buffalo is five times the weight of a lioness. A well-placed thrust could cripple a lion for life. On the sidelines, the brothers are out of danger and out of the way. But when they try to help, they distract the females and the buffaloes get away. But just as quickly, the brothers see how misfortune turns into opportunity. The stampede exposes a loner, and the lionesses react. The mothers are fearless, driven to control and conquer. So Tao attempts his first jump on, risk-free. On the rump, he's away from immediate danger. Banda feels safer behind a tree. His practical will come later. When they get the buffalo down, Tao helps at the sharp end. His instinct to strangle is appropriate, but he lacks the strength. When reinforcements arrive, he realizes he's in over his head. Better let the experts do this. It takes the combined bite force of two adults to finally squeeze the life out of the buffalo. With a buffalo dead, horns and hooves are no longer a danger. It's what Banda's been waiting for. 